Hello sunshines, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while, don't kill me, but I'm here and I'm making another video. And even though this video is going to be vlog style, which I prefer not to do for these types of videos, we're just gonna make it work because today I am filming with my baby girl right over there. I obviously prefer to not film with her because filming with her is much harder and I have to stop often. So that's why I'm filming a very simple video showing you guys what I keep on my vanity. It's a good way for me to just share my favorite things because the only thing I keep on top of my vanity is the things that I grab often. And that's because I keep the rest of my makeup in a separate storage, it's not inside my bedroom, that's not near my vanity. And I like it that way because it keeps it very neat and clean and simple, just how I like it, very minimalistic. So let me show you what's on my vanity. I know you guys are going to ask about my bedroom furniture and everything that's here in my bedroom, but just know that everything I have in my bedroom is not new. It's the same exact items from my last bedroom tour from my previous home. So nothing has changed, just the location has changed. And this bedroom is actually a little smaller than my last one, but I'm glad that I was able to fit my vanity in here, even though in my last home I had it in a separate room. My vanity table is from Urban Outfitters. It comes together with the mirror just installed, just like that one piece, no installing, but I believe it's discontinued. And this chair is just the basic clear chair from Ikea. I painted it gold like five years ago and I still have it. This mirror is called the Juno mirror. It's a rose gold mirror that turns into like a night light. It has a charging thing here. It's a touch screen with a uh, different lighting situations here, but I haven't charged it in a really long time, so it probably doesn't work right now. And it has a magnifying attachment that I can just remove. And this magnifying attachment is super, super helpful when I'm doing my makeup. I use it all the time. Love that it has this tray so I can store my go-to things. I have a bunch of these little pots right now of RMS and one from Tata Harper. I wear this all the time. This is the Tata Harper Very Popular Lip and Cheek Tint. I've had this same pot for years and I still love it. I'm gonna run through the RMS things I have here quickly. This is an eye polish in the color Solar. I have the Baruti bronzer and the contour bronzer. I don't really like the contour bronzer right now and I'm testing it out. I don't know why I bought this one, but the Baruti one is very nice. Of course, I have the foundation concealer pot. This is in the color 44 and this is the color that matches me best. Lastly, I just purchased the Magic luminizer i have the living luminizer but the magic luminizer is much more up my alley because it's like a little champagne color i have this equal tools mixing caddy thing ilia is another one of my favorite brands this is a highlighter and this is a blush and tint that i use all the time as well it's just a pink color i'm actually wearing it today right over here i keep a couple of my favorite lip products and like simple things uh, to use on my vanity. A little bit of skincare. This is a really, really, really nice moisturizer. Not gonna go through everything because this is gonna take way too long. So my favorite lip product at the moment is this one. This is the Vapor Organic Beauty Lipstick in the color Siren Madam. My favorite lip liner is still this one. It's been the same thing forever, for so many years. This is Spice from the brand Zooey Organic. My makeup brush holders are from Wayfair. I've had these for a few years now and I have it in my work space tour as well. My brushes are mostly from Eco Tools and some of them are from Real Techniques. In this bowl, I keep the makeup that I'm currently using right now and here are a few of the palettes that I'm currently grabbing. This is my favorite foundation at the moment. This is the Atmosphere Soft Focus Foundation and I am in the color 135. I really, really love this foundation. Here I also have a Honest Beauty Primer, Honest Beauty Mascara. This is a palette that I'm loving right now from Jane Iredell. And it has these three beautiful colors, a highlight, a blush, and a contour color that I use mainly for defining my nose. And I've got a bunch of other items here like eyeliner from 100% Pure, 
Alima Pure Concealer that you guys see all the time. My favorite brow product right here, which is 100% pure, and this is in the color Medium Brown. I've used this for years as well. Another one of my favorite foundations is the Cure Weiss Foundation, and I am in the color Transparent. And look, you guys, this is how much I love this foundation. This is the palette I use the most. This is the Honest Beauty Get It Together palette. I did a little video on Instagram with this palette. I absolutely love it because it has everything I need. And I just got this rose gold palette, which I love keeping out. Uh, I haven't really used it that much yet because I just got it. But it matches my mirror right here and a little bit of the rose gold theme that I have going on. But it's seriously a really gorgeous palette, as you can see. And I keep all of my skincare stuff that I'm currently using in this beautiful rotating tower. And this is seriously one of my favorite things that I have in my bathroom. I found out about this from a girl named Rianne. Her name is Wife Life here on YouTube. And she has one of these in white or black. I don't remember, something like that. So I found out about it from her. And I went on Amazon and bought one myself, but in an acrylic clear color because I just feel like it fits better with my style and my bathroom and I'm just more minimalistic even though it has a ton of products on there. And I organize my skincare kind of like by brands. So this is my go-to Derma E things that I'm using right now. This is a new brand called Biosense that I've been using right now. So I keep those things right here along with my Jade uh, roller. But I actually have a favorite roller of mine and it's this beautiful rose gold one with rose quartz crystal. How beautiful is this? And it's really big and I actually like it more for my face. If you wanna invest in one, I suggest this one because I like it a lot better. And it has a really nice case as well. So I keep it in this drawer. So Biosense is a really clean, very pricey brand, but very worth it. I actually love every single product in this line. And from Derma E, some of my favorites is this Radiance Toner, the Hydrating Mist. Of course, my Radiant Glow Oil is right in the front and I use it for everything. Hair, body, skin, face, hands, feet. If you guys don't know, this is an oil that I collaborated on with Derma E. I'll link it down below. It's available on their website and in Whole Foods stores and a few other places. I absolutely love this hydrating serum. This is one of my favorite night creams. This is the hydrating night cream. As you can see, I like the hydrating line. And the vitamin E cream, you can never, ever, ever go wrong with this. I actually like combining the vitamin E cream and this oil together. This right here is magic. And also, these two right here, amazing for nighttime. Let's put all this back the way I like. Right above, I keep my favorite body butter. This stuff is amazing, you guys. It's called Buddha Butter. It has the simplest organic ingredients like cocoa butter, shea butter, and coconut oil or something like that. And I use it a lot. It's so creamy. And yes, you can make this yourself, but there's something about this one that I just really, really love. So if I put it in my tower, that means I really like it. Next up, this is my acne solution shrine. So everything here is for my acne days. So I have this tea tree and willow clarifying astringent from 100% pure. This stuff is very strong and it works really good on acne. This is a cleanser and, and I use this cleanser even when I don't have acne, when I know I have had my makeup on for many hours or if I fell asleep with my makeup on or something like that, I go for this spot treatment, face treatment for acne. Oh, and if I didn't say it, the brand is Beauty Counter. Above that, I have the May Lindstrom Blue Cocoon because this also works on acne and this just melts on your face like not even like butter. I can't even say like butter. It's very thin, 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 thin oil, not a thick oil, and it just feels so good. So here I have some other favorites from different brands. This is a set that I got from Dr. Hoshka. So I tend to use things from brands like together. So if I plan on using the Dr. Hoshka stuff one day, I usually use everything. So I'll use all three of these back to back, and that is my skincare 
and I'll probably add a little oil to it or something like that. I typically use this cleansing milk when I'm not really wearing makeup. It's just a simple cleanser that won't strip my skin of moisture because when I'm not wearing makeup, I don't really like to use soaps and things like that because it's just unnecessary. The Rose Day Cream, I use a lot, even if I'm not using these things. I like to use this with my Radiant Glow Oil from Dermot E as well. I use this a lot, especially for nighttime. This is a serum that works kind of like a primer. So you are supposed to apply this after applying moisturizer, but that's how it works. I'm not crazy about my cellar waters. I'm not on that bandwagon yet, but I have it here just because it's new and I'm trying it out, but I don't know how much I like it yet. Above that, I have one of my favorite cleansing mud mask. This is from Mace Lindstrom. I've had this for so many years as well. This is the Honey Mud. And now that you've seen the bottom and the middle portion of my tower, let's move on to the top. Drunk Elephant. I have a lot of things from this brand that I store in the other drawers down here but these are the things that i like the most right now this i have here only because i'm trying to give it a shot again because while i was pregnant i used this one time and it kind of burned my face but i need to try this again now that i'm not pregnant anymore to see if there's any change this is a new product called a pashoni this is a retinol cream and I've also been trying this out, so that's why it's there. Everything else that's here, I've already tried for a long time and I really love. Both of their serums are to die for. I really recommend these. If you're planning on getting anything from this brand, these serums are the best. I also have the eye serum and eye cream. I love both of them as well. And in the very back, I keep the tinted SPF cream, which I love, 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 love using when I'm trying to go somewhere really quickly and I don't have time for makeup. I just apply this cream. And with this, I don't need foundation. From Juice Beauty, I have their anti-aging wrinkle moisturizer. I love this stuff. You just press it and the moisturizer comes out. This is my favorite serum from this brand. I cannot have a skincare video without Tata Harbor being mentioned. This is still one of my favorite brands. Yes, it's very clean, non-toxic, and high-end at the same time. So I have a little shrine for my current baby right now. I'm so sorry about the noise that Alma's doing in the background, but she's entertained and playing, so I can't interrupt her. The Illuminating Moisturizer is so, so, so nice. I love using this with or without foundation. Whenever I apply this product, I always think I'm not gonna be old, ever, because this stuff is so thick and I don't know, it's kind of like, it makes you feel like it's working as soon as you put it on. It's really good. Lastly, here I have a solid perfume type of thing from Vapor Beauty. I just got this and it smells so good. I don't wear perfume that often, but I got this one to try it out and I really like it. These two things are from Coco Kind. This is the Maca Beat, which is just a tinted type of uh, stick. This is really good. If I have a pimple, I'll put this on and the pimple will go away like the next day. But I just have to be very careful because I have stained a few of my pillowcases by going to sleep with this on and forgetting that I have it on. So do not go to sleep with this on unless you don't care about your pillowcases. And then right here in the middle, I just keep a few of my other little things like this is a blackhead remover thing and a pimple popper. This is my DIY lash and brow oil to grow my brows scissors tweezer of course so that is it i hope you guys enjoyed my vanity tour and my skincare products i'll try to link what i can down below in the description box i don't know if i'll link everything because it's quite a lot of products so i hope you guys are paying attention and i will catch you guys in the next video which i promise you i will try to make it very very soon bye sunshines